Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11 Beta 3 to developers. Usually the public beta comes out within a day or so, and this one came in at 392 megabytes. Let's take a look at the version number. This version is 15A5318G, and it brings with it quite a few changes. There's over about 20 changes, and just in this particular update alone, there's over 100 resolved issues or bugs and over 60 known issues that still exist. So they are making some good progress, but there's quite a few to go. But let's take a look at what's new. So the first thing is the long press. When you long press an icon or 3D touch an icon, it can make a difference. So maybe I want to move something around. Instead of trying to gently tap here like this and hold and wait for it to shake, now I can long press hold and it goes back and shakes. So if I 3D press, hold, it will go back and do that over and over, no matter which icon I tap on, it does it over and over. And that seems to be new in this one. Notifications has been updated so that you can just pull down now and see your notifications. Instead of pulling down and sliding back up, they're just here. So pull down, they're here, slide them away, and they're gone. So that's a little bit of an improvement there. Screenshots now save directly to photos. So if I take a screenshot like this, it will go down into the corner like it always did, and you can long press on it and do some different options, but I can swipe it away, go into photos, we'll go back, and you'll see now it's down here. So I just took this and it saves there automatically like it used to, which is a nice little change. Now they've made some changes to control center as well. They've changed some icons and changed the way things look. So if I turn the flashlight on, you'll see it's now blue. The same goes with the icon for low battery, it's now yellow. If I 3D press on things like notes, it looks a little bit different and you can find different looks to most everything in here if you long press or 3D press on them. This design has been tweaked and it just looks a little bit different than it did before. So that's a little bit of an update. Drag and drop is also smoother in this update. So where before it didn't really work great with your finger, if I drag this out, tap a couple different ones, you'll see it tracks better with my finger. I can just let go and they go back. So that's been improved quite a bit as has when we do this and drag these around, it's improved as well. It's not as laggy as it was before. So they are making some progress here and I'll try and get that back where it was. So they're making some progress there and that's a little bit better and much better performance. Now on the iPad side, there's one significant change. Let me slide over. We have a lot more on the iPhone side, but on the iPad side, if you double click and go into the app switcher, you can now swipe these away where you couldn't do that before. You actually had to long press and hit an X. So you can just keep swiping them away and it works really well. Now back on the iPhone, under the provider settings, it now allows you to sign up for different providers for TV that you actually may not have. So maybe I go down here, tap on one of these, and it says you don't have a single sign-on or your, your company doesn't support it yet. You can hit OK and it will just prepare you for it. You can sign in or you can go back and sign out. So that's something that's new that they've added here as well. iCloud sharing is now enabled for your family. So if you go into settings, go under your name, go to iCloud, then go to manage storage. And then under manage storage, what you'll have is your family usage down at the bottom. You'll see they're sharing 20.7 gigabytes. And within the family shared storage or family usage, it shows you who's using it and how many gigabytes each person is using. And then you can stop sharing it with your family as well. There's some new options under files. If you go into files and then you go to locations, what you'll see is we now have Dropbox ability. If you have Dropbox installed, you also have one more thing. If I go to edit, you have OS 10 server as well. That's not quite working yet, but that's a location you can browse as well in the new files app. So that part's really nice. In the new app store, you have a lot of videos and things under specific headings of games and things like that that may play automatically. Well, if you don't want that to play, there's now a setting to change that. So if you go down and find your app store and then you have auto play videos, now you can leave this on Wi-Fi only or leave it off. So you have that option now as well that's been added. Many people have been looking forward to dark mode and there's sort of a dark mode built in and that's under general, then accessibility, then you have your display accommodations, then you have invert colors, and now you have smart invert. And this is sort of a dark mode and they've improved this throughout the UI. So if I pull down, this has changed now to be more of a dark mode than it was before. So they've fixed things and tweaked it all throughout the UI to be a little bit more of a specific dark mode. So let's turn that back off. We'll go back 
And the next thing they've done is additions to the Safari experimental options. So again, under settings, find Safari, go all the way to the bottom, go to advanced. Then we have experimental features that we can play around with. And they've added a few here that weren't there before. So if you want to enable things like that, you can play around with those or use those if you're a developer. Under messages, there's some additions as well. In messaging, if I go here, I go to the app store, and then I slide all the way to the right, go to more. This is organized different. We can search our iMessage apps, edit them, turn them on or off if we don't want them to show or anything like that, and then go back. And that's just been added as well. So that's a nice little addition that they've added to messages. Now the Siri options has changed as well. So again, let's go back into options. We'll find Siri. And under Siri, they've basically combined everything. This used to be spread out. They've changed the UI so that it's not spread out as much. Just looks a little different, but that is a little tweak they've done as well. One of the things I thought was a little curious, if I slide up here, hit Wi-Fi, you'll see it says disconnected from, that's my Wi-Fi. It disconnects it and turns off your Wi-Fi antenna. So it just lets you know that's a change according to their notes. Now there's some other things that are less exciting that are new options for networking for developers. There's new sync systems that are actually in the background for bookmarks and reading lists and Safari, Safari options for developers. And one feature they did add that I can't show you because I don't have those specific languages enabled is new Siri voices for both genders of Brazilian, Portuguese, Canadian, French, Dutch, and Swedish. That's been added as well. They've also added support for trans translation requests from English, US to Chinese, Spanish, German, French, and Italian. So those are all added and those were in the notes as well. The benchmarks of this particular update are a little bit better than last time by about 10 on each of these. So basically it's a little bit better. That's not too much of a concern because this is a beta and it still lags. Battery on beta two was a little bit better than on beta one, but it still wasn't great. It's hard to say on this one after a few days what it will be like, but I'll do a follow-up video for that. And I've already had some lag and some issues. If I go into photos, you'll see I had notes disappear. They just disappeared. I screenshotted this so you could see it, but I've had some bugs all over and some frame rate issues and things like that. But I do expect a few more betas in a few weeks. We'll have another beta probably. And leading up to September, we'll probably have about six betas until it's finally released. So that's it for this particular update. Let me know if you found anything else though in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. I'll leave a link to this wallpaper in the description below so you can check that out there as well. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.